was a was al miller ever an instructor of yours early influence oh wow i, I took one lesson I, i'm self-taught one lesson from al miller I, I was more interested in his daughter she was really beautiful but uh, yeah. so, so it's a good segue. I like I, it. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I couldn't pay attention. So nice. But I, well, Al was a great guy. I mean, you know, he was a wonderful person. And he well, taught a lot. He taught a lot of of uh, very well known drummers as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Was there any influential people that you connected with that you that you you felt you needed to adapt in um, in your playing at all? You know, I have to say, I, I've always had favorite favorite drummers, you know, like starting with Ringo, you know, my mother, yes. my mother loved Gene Krupa, you know, okay, yeah. and, until today, Gene Krupa is the guy for me, you know, it's either been Gene Krupa or Buddy Rich, Gene Krupa is my guy, you know, yeah, I, I, I love always. how he played. I learned more about music because I'm self-taught from yeah. people who didn't play instruments that just yeah. loved music, like yeah. uh, the shoemaker in my town when I was growing up. He would give me like a, a, a jazz album and go, hey, have you ever heard this? And I would take it home and listen to it and I'd go, wow, this is really cool. And there's licks on there that I want to learn, put it in my rock feel. Or, or a friend of mine come over and go, did you ever hear Dave Brubeck? You got to hear this, you know. And it's like, oh, my God, this is fantastic, you know. Yeah. And yeah. what can you take from that? You, you take little pieces every, from every little thing you, you do, you know, yeah. and you listen yeah. to and you then you develop your own style rather than listening to one thing 